find the distance between the points 12 comma negative 23 and 5 comma negative 30. This is definitely not one that we would want to do by graphing because we would have to have quite a large graph and we would need quite large graph paper. So this is a great example where we want to use the distance formula. Have you memorized the distance formula yet? It's the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. And our coordinates are going to be x1, y1, x2, and y2. So inside these parentheses, we've got 5 minus 12 squared. And then we have negative 30 minus negative 23 squared. Now 5 minus 12 is negative 7. And we can rewrite negative 30 minus negative 23 as negative 30 plus 23. When we add those together, we also end up with negative 7. So we've got negative 7 squared plus negative 7 squared under the radical. And negative 7 squared is 49. So we've got 49 plus 49, which is 98. Now 98 isn't a perfect square, but it contains a perfect square factor. 98 is 49 times 2. So we can split that up. And when we take the square root of 49, we end up with 7. And so the distance between those points is 7 root 2. Again, if we wanted to, we could use a calculator to get a decimal approximation if that's something that was asked for. However, if it's not asked for, we just give the simplest exact answer that we can, which in this case is 7 root 2.